Do all my review talking with this. Right here. I love you guys so much. I hope you're doing well. I'm just sitting here waiting for Scotty. Gary, you look like you aged 50 years. How are you doing over there? How dare you make me look old? You're just as old as I am now. Sucker. Look at the set. Isn't it neat? Will it make my life complete? Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up. Scotty, I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Famous. Sorry I took the last two weeks off, man. I'm like, no videos. This sucks. I'm just gonna live life free with my kids. I'm just kidding, man. Just been really busy with the store. Thank you so much for all your support. If you haven't, go visit BreakMeUpScotty.com for all your alternative brick sets or other sets that you don't see on the store. Just email us, we'll help you out. I'll help you out, man. That's what I'm here for. But no, seriously, it was the end of the month. I had to clean the inventory up. The office is a total Nightmare, it's a real mess right now. So I had to kind of stop everything for a little bit. I'm back now. Hopefully this video is out faster. So Chris is still not here with me. My staff has left me. They're all gone. You know, we're still in a little bit of a lockdown. It's getting a little bit better. And also I had to return the camera to Sony. But thank you so much to Sony Professional Hong Kong for always helping me out. And I had to use my older camera. It should still look pretty okay. You know, it took a little bit of time to set up, but it should still look nice, right? Does that look pretty or what? Today we're looking at these sets and they're from Wiki, AKA VG, AKA Symbol Block. It's time to go into mystical land. Let's hold hands together. Hold my hand, damn it. We're gonna go on a fairy tale journey. Here we go. So what you're looking at is from Wiki. I just call these the fairy tale series. The one that you're seeing right now is called Mermaid or as we all know, AKA The Little Mermaid. 506175. They do not specify how many pieces. Where's all the mermaid fans at? Okay, we're gonna look at Cinderella next, but we'll look at this one first. So Wiki has released a couple of series. They have these, and they have one more, which is Alice in Wonderland. It's not out yet. I'm waiting for that one, because that one looks totally unique. I'll put in an image if I can right now, but it's a book opening up and the characters are falling down. I love when companies go crazy. And they also have one other series, which is the characters riding on their weird looking vehicles. I don't know if I had those on the store or not, or if it's worth it to put it on there. These are a little bit pricier than normal because they're, they're putting a lot of detail into the stuff and they have even more pop-up book styles that are coming out really soon. So I hope I can get those on the store. I hope you guys like them. If you want to support them, please do support them. Support me too, buy them on the store as well. I'll get them up as soon as I can. First of all, this is the mermaid. Oh no, my camera just went nuts. Oh yeah. Gotta improvise right now, monitor fell over. Anyway, you wanna be a part of this world. This was not an easy build. For sure, your kids cannot build it. My son tried to build it. He gave up really, really fast. It's absolutely very tricky. But just before we look at this set, let's look at the presentation. And later on, stay tuned for this, cause this right here was a free gift. And yeah, it's got an upside down chicken saying, okay. I got it, you got it? If you guys do buy these, I don't know if that will still come with it. It's like a perk if you buy early or I don't know, man. I don't know how that works. Some of these sets are like that. Anyway, get it while you can. That's all I say, man. When these things come out, just grab them. Even though they suck, resell them later. Do whatever you want with them. Okay, box. Can we ship it with the box? Yes, we can, but it's also very heavy. So you're gonna be paying much more for this. If you don't get the box, you can live through it through this right now, digitally, here. I'll, I'll try to hide my hands behind here like this, so you can screenshot this box, keep it for yourself, and be like, wow, beautiful. Seriously though, very cool, very thick, it's like a book already, right? That's the front, wiki. There is the back. Oh, nice back, smack it, Scotty. I love the blue, the color's really nice. And the fact that, as you saw, it opens up and it holds right here. And it's like a little stand. I guess I gotta send it to you with the box. You're gonna have to pay for it. But if I move this up here, you can see the clouds. Beautiful. It's got like three dimensional pop-up thing. They really need to do this? I always ask that like a little bit overkill. Yeah, it does add to the presentation for sure. But in the end, you just want to set, right? You open this up here and there's nothing inside. They just throw the bag in there and be like, be on your way and build the set. Here's the manual. It's very similar to all the other Wiki sets. They don't show anything. You only have the model number down there. And the back here, there's a QR code right there. Scan it, see where it takes you. It'll probably be like a Chinese app or something. If I open up one of the pages here, 
There you go. Is it easy to follow? Yeah, I didn't have any issues, but whoa, the techniques they used to get the book to hold down and hold open like that. Good luck, man. You're gonna need it. It also comes with this beautiful little letter. Mermaid, let's open it up and see what it says. <gasps> wow. Whoa, I got a little card right there, yo. Oh, it has English on there. Good, I can read it to you. Dream maker? I thought it said peacemaker. To dream maker. Thank you for your support for the lovely fairy town series. Yeah, that's pretty close. I'm happy that you like these fairy tales. Whenever I open the pages of the book and read them, those stories will give me infinite power. It's a little bit off with the grammar. My grammar sucks too, man. So this time we hope the energy that can bring this fairy tale communicate it. They don't put periods, man. How dare they? Communicate it to everyone who still believes in fairy tales. Let's fairy tale break into reality. There is another right up here. Wiki real estate, real estate? Once had a banned area. Yeah, no joke ban. That's what it says, banned area. Why were they banned? which is said to contain unknown things like Pandora's magic box. Do hard manual work. European style iron gate full of vines was accidentally knocked open by the container Kiki. Who the hell is Kiki? A rabbit ran out of it. And then more and more residents from the fairy tale world broke into the real world. This reality and fairy tale are interwined and conveniently called fairy tale town. When fairy tale breaks into reality, Let's retrust the power of fairy tales. Do I trust ya? Hmm. First impression, I ain't never seen anything like it. I think what they were trying to go for was really good, like very magical looking, but very, very finicky and tricky to get this book pieced together. The book does not open or close. It stays open like this. And there are some micro adjustments you need to do. You see how I kind of like move it or shift it a little bit. It's not quite sitting down on the spine part right there. So you actually build one side of the book and then you build the other side and it kind of has to stay connected together because these sets actually have brick lights in them and you have to use those brick lights because the bricks are actually part of the set. Unless you switch the bricks out to a standard, they're like two by four bricks, okay? Because of the wiring, everything has to stay really close together and it gets really like, ah! Cinderella is even worse because you can see it's kind of like popping up. We'll see that later. But anyway, back to this. The platform here, everything was really fast to put together. I really like it. But there are a lot of stickers along the bottom there on the pages of the book. And there are some stickers that actually go over the gold pieces. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna replace those ones. Man, the gold looks really good on its own. You know what though? I like the design of the stickers. It looks like little waves of water. If it wasn't there, it'd be so plain. And you just suck putting stickers on. So you can see I had to kind of like, Shift this a little bit to straighten it. There we go. But once it's all together like this and you saw it in the box, it looks pretty right. So this set actually has two lights on it. One is a brick light. The other one is the lamp up here. So along the front, you got the floating underwater home of Ariel. I'm just gonna call her Ariel, I don't care. That's who she is, man. The platform part was the easiest to put on. And funny enough, there are a couple prints there, like the windows and the little patterns on the staircase area. And even the little stars on the little flat pieces. You know, the colors are actually pretty okay. There's a lot of colors, but they're, they're fine. It doesn't look super, super cheap to me. I like that they have a fish swimming around. They have a couple of fish swimming around, I think. And then you got lobster on this side. Sebastian, what did they do to you? Under the sea, under the sea. You go up the steps and there is Ariel with a dolphin swimming around. We needed flounder. Flounder, where are you, man? Oh, you know what? Take the dolphin away and put Sebastian there. Then if you want to be more, more legit, like it's a Disney story book, then that's the way to go. And the coral pieces? Hey, isn't that used in Winnie the Pooh, like the tree? I have the Winnie the Pooh Lego set, by the way. I think that was the first time I saw those branches being used in that set without a new element, but they're using them here as coral. Perfect, so there you guys go. If you're not gonna buy this and you want some inspiration for an underwater theme, use those pieces for coral works perfectly fine. Or that underwater look. I like the arch in the back. I like the see-through window look. On the very top is a crab lamp. 
and don't forget that if you are buying from us and you want the cheapest shipping available, I might just have to take the batteries out, maybe, huh? But I'll let you know when you order it from us. Most of the time, it goes in the box and it's fine. Of course, you got the lovely Ariel character, Fig Finger, if that's what you want to call her. Dear, why don't you tell us about her? Of course, that would be my pleasure. She looks stunning. Why she look like she's freaking out? What's wrong? She didn't like this place? I guess not. I love her shiny look with her hair and her fin. It's so glossy and beautiful. I'd buy the stitches for her. Oh, I like her bra. She's so bra, Scotty. You gotta buy that for your wifey. I don't love it. Here's the cool thing, though. It actually has a second outfit. The second outfit is more like standard color. Here, I'll put it on her and she can see it in the close-up. Why would I want to use this one when I want to see her in a beautiful, shiny gloss? But anyway, this one has some printing on both sides. She looks fine this way, but, you know, I just love the glossy one so much. We're going to come back and look at the glossy one in detail. Because, whoa, you see her hair shine like that? That is so good, man. Now, I'm going to rotate it here to this side just to show you. The side view, very thin. Look at that. Wobbly dubbly. There's a fish there swimming away. Little rock. I don't know, you guys like this color, the purple, blue. I guess it looks joyful. Is that the word to describe it? Swing it to the back here. There's actually some stuff going on back here. More little tiny prints. You got a starfish down there. Ooh, look down here. It's like a micro scale forest underwater. Or maybe, you know, this is a fairy tale, right? So it's gonna look like it's popping out of the book. She's in the water area, something like that. Yeah, you can see the wires of the brick light. They tell you to wrap it around the trees and it goes here and there and like underneath this thing. I'm like, nah, man. They should have just done that brick light from here and just stuck it in there. But I guess the one down here has more power when I turn it on. It'll look really pretty. Finally on the side here, nothing there. Yeah, just another leaf, another fish there. So let's turn on the lights. I'm going to rotate this one here. You rotate it. Yeah, maybe it's easier to take it off here. And you gotta twist it and make sure it shines bright like a diamond, yo. The brick light switch is right here. That's easy to get to. When you turn that on, it goes blue. And then I gotta like level her, right? Oh, oh, oh. Make her straight. There, there. Yeah, a little finicky. Minor thing. Uh, let me turn off the lights. Let me see what it looks like in the dark. Main light here going off right there. And here. Might look a little purplish here. Hopefully that'll be adjusted in post, but it's supposed to be blue. You see there, bright lights outside shining in too. So let me turn those ones off. There. Now I'm in complete darkness. You guys don't have to see my ugly face. There you see her, sitting there across the way. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. Okay, now that I got all the lights back on, can I take this thing and strip it apart to show you guys what the problem is? I guess you just pull this up here. That comes off really easy. Ah, I feel safer now. I can relax a little bit. Boy, put it to the side here. There we go. A lot of trans clear bricks there. I don't want the light to reflect on it. I think it's fine. It looks, looks really good. But yeah, you can see how complex it might be when you see underneath the plate. You're going to be enforcing a lot of bricks down up. Now, probably the worst part about this set is underneath. And I guess it's not too bad because it's hidden. If I flip it to the side here, we're like, yo, there. Oh, those are giant stickers, man, going over tiles. I'm like, oh, that sucks. So if I were you, I would leave the stickers off for that because you're not gonna like display it sideways like this. You could, but maybe one day this thing will fall over. But there, the little, oh, it does say the little mermaid right there. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. And this side says, fly into the sweet dreamland. So all these tiles are going on top of each other and they're like flat pieces. So they're using inverted little tiny pieces that I was telling you about and they're pushing it together. It all wants to fall apart. I'm not sure if you were supposed to like push this spine piece like all the way in, but it, then it can't do the fold look. It'll be too straightened out. So, oh, it's a minor nitpicking thing. Oh, see, I can pull it apart already and be like, show you. Yeah, you have to keep everything very close to each other. Luckily, the strands of light is a little bit longer and you have to put the lights on separate 
places here. I like this though, the gold spine. They use that in the Cinderella a lot. And like, that's one thing I really like about the printed, those pieces being printed and not stickers and not like faded looking. So that was really neat. So I can put this all back here. This little piece right here, simple to put together. And underneath this, a little bit more detail there. And you just simply stick this sucker on like that. Oh, there goes Ariel. Where'd you go? Push it down here. I'm gonna put Ariel back. Ah, I gotta turn off this light. See, battery, man. Only this part here is bugging me. I'm like, something's supposed to go there where the manual shows it's nothing there. Maybe you wanna put Ariel sticking up here, jumping out, whatever you wanna do, man. There you go. That is the Little Mermaid. Let's look at the next one. So now that we know what it's called, you're looking at what case? Fairy Tale Town. This one is Cinderella. 506173. I have no idea how many pieces this one is. It's pretty small. You guys can get through this real quick whether or not you can handle the technique. Of course, you get this little envelope, same thing. So of course, presentation is like through the roof on this thing. Nice, oh, this one, is it different? Yes, this one actually is different. To Dream Makers, thank you for your support for the Fairy Tale Town series. I'm very happy that you like these fairy tales. When every time us see these works, we'll get to energy. That's even worse than the first one, isn't it? Therefore, in partnership with the something VNA, I hope to bring the power to everyone who still believes in fairy tales. Let the fairy tale world break into reality. Oh, VNA. The Chinese says VNA. Who the hell is VNA? Oh, wow. Okay. I should have read this side first. Inspired by the enchanting tale of Cinderella, a classic story has been echoed to generations and cultures. This unique wiki place that incorporates scenes from the universal fairy tale from Cinderella and her stepmother cellar wearing rags to dancing with Prince Charming at the ball. They lie, this is just simply the carriage. Based on the costume designs and pantomime posters held in the v &A's collection of theater and performance. Oh, oh, well, I would have liked to have known this first. Celebrating creativity, the v &A is the world's of leading museum of art, design, and performance. Discover more at vam.ac.uk. Well, there we go. They based it on something. How come Ariel doesn't have that? How dare they forget that. Okay, the Cindy set. I do like it a little bit better than Ariel. Ariel looks more simple. This looks very lavish, but this was a real pain in the ass to get together. Yeah, the funny thing is, once you're done with it and you go back and you need to take things apart, you'll understand why. And it's actually pretty easy to get it the second time around. First time is like really, really, really tricky. The manual looks exactly the same. I don't know where mine is. We don't need to see the manual. We just need to see this. Oh, this is the perfect place for me to live, Scotty. Can you just put me in this book? Then I don't have to, then I don't have to be around you and explain myself. I can live free with Cinderella. Right, Cinderella? Why are you talking to me? Talk to me. Talk to me, woman. So same deal with the box presentation. It looks great resting on here. I love the fact that this book does stick up higher. That comes with a sacrifice of how you build this thing. Can you do it this way? No, it's too heavy, man. It'll just go plop. And it has a little latch here. It looks like the book has been opened. So it's like a lock for the book. Same deal though. You cannot close the book. It's just an illusion of a book. I have to see how the other pop-up books are from this series. You want me to do it? Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so I can do those ones for you too. As soon as they're available. I'm just gonna do them anyway. As soon as they're available, I'll do them for you. Let me just show you the box. Cinderella right there. The back of this one is pretty good too, man. It's got that pop-out look to it. It's got a little path there to the castle, the time, some animals flying around and the pumpkins, right? Same deal when you open up the box, nothing inside. And the front there, very lovely look to it. Again, this thing has some weight. I think this actually weighs more than the set. There's the back if you're interested in the back. And if you want to see all the technical, I'll move this ribbon out of the way, technical details, there you go. They're trying, man, they're trying. I hope this is successful, man. I'd love to see more fairy tale stuff. I'm more interested in this than something very plain and simple. First impression of this set, much harder to do than that set because of the book. But it's the same kind of overall feel, same vibe. 
stickers, man. I just did not like the stickers going over tiles. They're big, they're clunky. It does have some printed pieces, which is nice too. Even though it doesn't have that many pieces, I love it, man. I'm like, yo, this is so, oh, just so whimsical looking, right? So the carriage looks like it's popping out of the book. It's like jumping and screaming. Roho, get out of here. We got to make it in time. So along this side, I love the little flower and the placements. They might pop off on you. There are a lot of little rubber, like little pipes that you have to kind of bend and flex. You can always cut, snip those and adjust them or just bend them even more so that they fit better. Got a couple pumpkins there. Doggy, that looks like a little mouse, I think. Don't know what that is, man. The pumpkins look great hanging out there. Just let you know that this is from the pumpkin patch, right? Now I'll flip it here to the side here. That looks really cool, man. Got a couple of birds there, some mushrooms, and that looks like a portal down below, which is where the big light is for this set. I guess that does look really cool when I'm seeing it on camera. I'm like, yo, that looks pretty, man. And here we got more little vines and look a little, oh, this is not a mouse. It's like a gopher or something. I like how they use the toilet seat cover and it's just like popping out of the ground. It's like a whack-a-mole thing going on. Whack him with my hammer. Now here's a closer look at the carriage. I didn't actually have any issues putting it together. You do have to be a little bit careful when you're like applying pressure because it's more of a shell. So if you push down too hard, things might break apart. But once it's all snapped together, it fits in there fine. And look, all prints, man. Beautiful prints on the circle pieces. I dig the little top piece crown and those gold pieces. So the gold here really makes it stand out. That's great. And inside is Cinderella. It's hard to get to her. I'll break her out in a little bit so you can see her detail. But let's move on to the front where you got the horse pulling the carriage. Yeah, it does kind of move here. So you rest it on this little ramp. And when you rest it there, it looks like it's flying across. Again, the gold with the gold wheels, the gold reins. I think that's why I like it. It's like full of gold, man. I'm a sucker for gold pieces now. Like, yeah, gold printed parts is the way to go. Then we got the fairy godmother. Here she kind of looks like you. Underneath her, it looks like, I don't know what these like pattern things, but they're whips, you know? Hey man, it's just like the other set. Every time you have a horse, it's gotta be a whip, man. You gotta whip them, move the ass, get out of here. So before I take the carriage off, let's just turn on the light. Where's the light switch for this thing? It's actually here on the front. It's underneath the horse. It's not too difficult to get to. Once I turn this on, she'll light up. Oh, that's like a yellowish bright light. So there's one light under the carriage and there's one light in this portal thing which it's jumping out of. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about the clock. The clock is one giant sticker. No! So same deal. Then we turn off the lights one by one. You guys sit back, relax, take a look. There. Come over here and do this light here. Which looks like it's on fire, man. And I'll do the light outside. Oh, spooky! And the light's on top. There. Oh. Now the camera is definitely going to be a lot darker looking, but when you see it with your own eyes, you can definitely see all the details of the set with the lights on, and it does look really, really pretty. I like that look. But there, that sacrifice again, installing the light, which you'll definitely need to use because it's part of the stand. You can replace that with a standard brick if you don't want lights for this thing. But with the lights, the wires are gonna be stretching from book to book onto the carriage. Everything has to be built pretty close. So that is a little bit of a challenge here. But you'll be fine, you'll get through it. Dear, what do you think? The lights look so pretty, heavenly. A place where I need to go right now. If I stay here any longer, you're gonna be a bad influence on me, Scotty. Now we're gonna dissect this thing. We're gonna show you guys how easy or difficult it is to take it off. So the horse is free. It's just attached to the carriage. The carriage is actually mounted to the book. So you gotta kind of take it off the little plate so I can pull it off there. Oh, okay. So there, the light is attached to the bottom. Oh, there, okay. So unfortunately without the book, you have no back wheels to hold this part up. So if you're dragging like that, you're like, oh, let's get out of here. Oh no, it's in the early, you fell out. So now we come to the book. There you go. You can see a bird's eye view, the details there. Sticker here, step into magical adventure. And this is the piece right there that you mount onto the carriage itself. Now you see how the book does kind of have that tilt, right? Boy, if I flip this thing sideways, it's gonna suck right here. Right now it's actually okay. I guess you can display it like that. Oh, these damn stickers, man. Cinderella. 
And the tiles, same deal. They're cheap with those little pieces that you had to like invert. So they all can clip together. Sometimes it wants to push out. So the stickers look like they're pushing out. This side says, same thing. Step into a magical adventure. Over here, it says, The Little Glass Slipper by Charles Perrault. But yeah, you see all these here? There's all stickers going around it. So the one crazy thing about the Cinderella set that keeping these pieces and the tiles together, is if I take this gold piece off here, you'll notice right here, they have these little circular pieces. They're so tiny and small. Best thing to do is use like a little pipe piece or you know a vine or something. And you're supposed to stick it in a hole right there. And then you have to stick them in here, push them in, use your finger to make sure it stays inside right there like that. And this will actually hold the pieces inside. That's kind of cheating, man, but I know a couple brands do that style as well. This part was a real pain to ask, man. You can actually kind of see where it's not totally flushed down. You push too hard, it wants to snap off. The way it comes together, you have to kind of slot this down in there and push it down and it'll, it will line up, but that took me so long to do. My suggestion is you just got to do it like trial and error. Just let it fall apart on you. Don't get frustrated. Just take your time, get used to it. And once you get used to it, it kind of just clicks in there and you're like, oh, okay. Now I kind of get how what they're talking about and how it installs there. But that's the trickiest part. But if you can manage that, it'll just have that, it'll stay like this and it looks good. I think it looks great. But yeah, sometimes you have to push down on things to like make sure it holds up okay. And yeah, as you can see, it doesn't close. Oh, that is a print on the little latch part right there. Looks good. I wish it really could close up. Here's Cinderella. She looks like she's in her PJs. And she's ready to go to bed. I kind of wish they had the traditional blue, make it look more obvious, you know? She looks all right here. And it does kind of look like she has slippers on. She's cute. At least she looks happier. She looks happier than Little Mermaid. She's got like heart-shaped mouth. That's kind of cool. The headpiece is a little bit loose. It's one of those rubber pieces. I mean, it fits on there okay. I like the sleeves on her. She looks really good, but she looks like a ballerina though. And then the fairy godmother. She's holding her wand, and I like the details of her face. And I like the little hoodie and the detail and how it sticks out in the back and the, the bow in the front. And her dress is also nice printing. Good on them for that, man. Great, right? Put this all... Oh no, you gotta make sure like, to put the light back on first, okay? So you gotta have the light here. See, I'm knocking everything down now. The birds are gonna probably plop off in a second. Day there. Oh, oh, I knocked it over dang it okay this is a good chance for me to show you this part there you see you got to connect those parts onto here but you can't push too straight and it has to kind of go in an angle like so so it stays up this way that's the only tricky part now i gotta see if i can get this carriage back on here okay i got it then it's in now it's pretty good fairy godmother okay okay there so definitely not for kids. If you want, if your kids want to put this together, they can put the little things together, but you're certainly going to have to hold their hand. And you want to put Cinderella in before you put this thing on because it's hard to get her in there. So very, very cool. A little bit fragile putting these together, but I love seeing different stuff like this. So I think once it's all done, it looks amazing. And let's look at the free gift that came with this. It was actually brought up by Mike. I got this box done, just kind of left it on the side. And Mike, I hope you're doing all right out there. Mike's like, yo, Scotty, this is set come with a little chicken set. I'm like, what chicken set? I did have it here. I put it together. I'm like, yo, this is pretty cool, man. So this right here is from Wiki. It's like a free gift thing. Easter ist egg. It says, ist egg. Come in. Okay, got it. I like the box. I wish you could buy this separately. I don't think you can, man. Oh, what a nice box. Chickens, freedom, happy planet. Wow, they're really, they're really spending some money, like making all their sets so nice. I hope YK stays around, man. Or VG. From what I've heard, they used to be called VG, but apparently VG is a copyright name. So they got, they got, they got busted, man. So background here, same kind of, same manual. There's a number, 506044. If you can get it, go for it. Comes a little chicken card right there i don't know what it says and my spare pieces i put all my spare pieces there put out to the side and i might have to put some of the stuff together okay here we go look yo buck 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 so here it is a little chicken food stall what a great little gift to get with this thing so the accessories you have two little tables here they're a little bit tall look the figure that comes with it but i put it there 
They reach up for the chicken, you know? Like, oh, there. And the Dutch come with these two guys. The two guys look really good, the girl and the guy. Printed outfits, fried chicken. One is the driver, and one is the employee that works there. I like the little chicken logo on them. They do have a little bit of printing on the backside. So it's great. This is just like all bonus stuff that you're seeing with the set. You got this little scooter, which looks like it's some balloons on top. The delivery chicken box, Uber. You're gonna Uber this chicken to ya. Oh, this is Kiki. I just realized the science is Kiki. Remember the story we're reading? It's like Kiki unleashed Pandora's box to this world of fairy tales. So thank Kiki for this. But where's Kiki? I don't know. Maybe this is Kiki right here. So this is really cute. It's super, super small. But I love the fact that they got all these pieces to look like a chicken. Or so it's a waddle, right? They use a minifigure of foot upside down for a waddle. That's a great idea. I'm like, oh, that's so good, man. Has a hat up here. You open the cap. If you open it, there's something there. Look. Whoa! You got three eggs. It's like a surprise Easter egg thing going on. Let's so close that up. And look there. You got a little counter. It's open. They're all sticker. Wait, are these stickers? No, I'm pretty sure that's a print, man. Open from 9.30 to 10. Yeah, that's a print. You got a menu there. If I flip it to the side, go wee. Got some flowers and windows there. Hey, man, they packed a lot of little things in here. It does split open. But when you open it, it kind of opens half of this hat thing up. So the eggs will probably fall down. Oh, no, I got the eggs stuck on a nice plate there. Open up and go like, oh, look at that. On the inside, they were able to fit like a little coffee machine there, some drawers, and the other side, some cabinets, and a clock up there, the light hanging down. It's pretty simple, man. On the side, just a counter. Drink with a chicken on it, that's a print. And aircon on top, 24 degrees. Hey, it's got pretty good detail for a small little free stall like this. Yo, I love this chicken stall. This is so cool, man. So there you go, that's a chicken free gift that you get with these sets. It is now time for dimensions. Let's check this out. I already put the mermaid one here. Speed things up a little bit. Just so you know, this is 24 studs by 16. And then you want to break out your one by four bricks and you're going to want to stack it up to the highest point. Well, this is pretty close there. And that's roughly around 20 bricks in height. Uh, just shy of that. Small guy, at least you can put this on your plate and just decorate little things around it. Make her look like she's really underwater. Let's check out Cinderella. Okay, now for the carriage book, it does extend out a lot further because, oh, the latch piece makes it longer. I mean, it's just kind of like a guesstimate. It should be almost the same as the other one, but because it sticks out and protrudes, you're looking at about 31 studs by length and 16, the same as the other one, by width right there. And take out your one by four bricks. Let's check the height here. That is around, oh, it's, oh, it's almost there. It's like 15, 15 bricks in height. And there you go. Boy, this is gonna suck dropping this thing. What can I say, you guys? The video's complete. That means I'm done editing. I'm finished with these sets. You know what that means? I gotta drop them. Now, I'm gonna drop them one time together. I know this is probably gonna shatter. It's gonna absolutely suck. I don't wanna do it. But I gotta do it in case you guys drop it. You guys gotta know what's gonna happen to it, right? I think the stickers are gonna actually hold them up, except for Ariel. I think she's gonna fly out of this, this office. Maybe the carriage from Cinderella. So place your bets. Let's see what happens. Okay, I cheated a little bit. I don't want to pick it up too high and drop it. You're gonna probably just chip and it'll be like a low drop, just like this. Thankfully, well, I'm surprised Ariel stayed up. The brick light wires actually held like the set together. So you're not, you weren't gonna lose it. So that's good. The books did split apart. Dolphin tried to go away and uh, the crab lamp. Oh, I should go on this side, there and there. And the birdie on this side. That's not too difficult to fix up. Yay! All right, so that's this Wicke's Fairy Tale Town series or whatever you want to call it. Absolutely amazing. I think they look great once they're finished. They are not perfect, kind of like me. Some imperfections here and there, but you guys can modify and fix it up, I'm sure. And it's a little bit pricier, but these are available on my store. Or if you can find them anywhere else, just go for it, please. I think they're great. Great little addition. They're not too big. You can put them on your shelf, and kids will love to look at it and destroy it. 
Anyway, thank you so much. I will try to be back with more videos. It's been really hard being on my own. And we'll look at some other smaller, maybe bigger sets. Who knows? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall return. Until next time, you guys. Pick me out. Guys, leave me here all by myself with this guy. Hello, ladies. Want to join me over here? You can ride my back. You know, you're going to love it. I got a nice flat back. Come on now. Now all the songs are getting stuck in my head, right, dear? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better, down where it's wetter. Take it from me, because I'm so wet. Up on the shore, they work all day. Okay, under shut up already. Let's just move on and look at this thing.